begin tonight with our election coverage. The polls closed last night, but votes are still being counted all over the country. Here on the Central Coast, the final ballots are being counted for the tightly contested District 4 seat on the Santa Maria City Council. Here is a look at those results. We have Carol Karamitsos at 51%, actually uh, Maribel Hernandez at 51%, followed by Carol Karamitsos at 49%. So very tight race there. KSBY's Jacob Dizon spoke with Maribel Aguilera Hernandez, the candidate currently in the lead to assume the position. The latest results in the race for District 4 on the Santa Maria City Council show local attorney Maribel Aguilera Hernandez with a slight edge over physician Dr. Carol Karamitsos. Dr. Karamitsos tells me she's already extended a congratulations to her competitor despite a few ballots left to be counted. Meantime, Aguilera Hernandez tells me her work is just beginning. As of Wednesday morning, data from the County of Santa Barbara shows just over 3,000 votes were cast in the District 4 race, with 51% of those going to Aguilera Hernandez. She will be assuming the role of veteran councilwoman Etta Waterfield, who has held the District 4 seat for the past eight years. Aguilera Hernandez says if elected to the City Council, she'll work to address public safety needs, enhance local outreach programs for Santa Maria's youth population, and and provide resources for the city's small businesses. She spoke with me about her biggest takeaways as her campaign comes to a close. Getting to meet so many people that I've never met and getting to know even better our district and the residents and really understanding what their everyday issues are. That was the best part of the campaign. Santa Maria's 4th District makes up the southeast portion of the city, stretching along from Alvin Avenue all the way down to Santa Maria Way, east of South Broadway. In Santa Maria, Jacob Dizon, KSBY News.